What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. I wanted to make a video today about uh, this whole Uber protesting thing that's going on. Um, I'm getting a lot of people that seem to be really, really upset with Uber. And quite honestly, I don't know why. Um, I'll be the first to admit that when I started Uber, um, when they launched, we were doing a $2.25 per mile. Um, we didn't have a per minute rate though so I don't really know how to factor that in because when Uber first launched here we had two dollars and twenty-five cents per mile and then um, under eleven miles per hour it the price changed I don't remember what it was it's, it's been a long time ago but um anyway I do know that even though the per mile rates dropped the fact that we get paid 20 or 25 cents per minute helps to offset that um, that rate cut. But my issue is this, okay? Every driver out there, myself included, if you're a driver, you, you sign these documents, okay? Uber hands you, um, depending on where, where you live um, and where you drive, um, sometimes they hand out an iPad and it has all the terms and conditions on it. You have to read those and then you have to sign them saying that you agree to Uber's terms and conditions. The primary one being that you are an independent contractor. You are not an employee. You, you don't have the same rights as an employee. You are an independent contractor, which means basically you're expendable. Um, you know, you can be let go at any time. They have no obligation to you or to myself. Um, they can change their rates. They, they can pretty much do whatever they please. Um, and here's the thing, guys. I signed that form. I knew exactly what it meant. I knew exactly what every bit of that meant, and I read it. I knew that they could cut the rates. They could also increase the rates. Um, I knew that they could terminate me at any given moment. We are expendable, people. Um, and if you think you're not, you're fooling yourself. Here's, I mean, I, I know this sounds harsh. I, I know in a way it probably sounds just downright mean. But I mean, this is the way it is, guys. This is real life. This isn't a fairy tale. This isn't, this isn't a storybook. This is real. Get with the program. I get a lot of people saying, well, it's not fair. Welcome to reality. Life isn't fair. Guys, I am not an employee of Uber. Uber does not pay me for these videos. Um, in fact, there's probably a few of them Uber would not really like being out there. But I tell it like it is. I don't sugarcoat it, and I'm not going to make an exception to this video. You can whine, and you can complain, and you can go out and protest in the streets all day long. Other than getting a little bit of media attention, what are you hoping to accomplish? Unionize? What are you unionizing? We're not employees. We are independent contractors unless you can change that. You don't have a leg to stand on, people. And I've seen some of the videos. I tend not to watch them because I, they don't make any sense to me. You've got a bunch of people getting together, going out on the streets, and protesting in front of Uber's office. For what what are you protesting? I hear things like unfair wages. Okay. You're not happy with what you're getting paid. Here's my mindset, okay? I've been a sole proprietorship for over six years. Meaning I've owned my own business. Meaning I don't hire employees, guys. In fact, thanks to Obamacare and, and politics that I'm not going to get into, a lot of places are now turning to hiring independent contractors okay this releases the company of pretty much all liability they're not responsible for anything they don't have to pay all of the crap that the government tries making them pay when they hire employees or when you've got employees that are working 40 hour work weeks or 38 or whatever it is then you have to supply them with medical care okay businesses are moving away from that they don't want to be involved with that so where do they turn they find loopholes and guess what Hiring people as independent contractors is one of those loopholes. 
or hiring more people but keeping them under the full-time rate also lets them bypass the politics of this game. Don't get mad at Uber. Guys, you signed up for this. So what are you pissing and moaning about? My rates have been cut too. I'm no exception. All right? Rates were 225 or 250 a mile when I started. All right, they're a dollar and a quarter now. I feel you. Rates have been cut. But at the end of the day, you and I signed a contract. So what? Because you don't think the contract is fair. See, you thought the contract was fair when you signed it. But now you don't think it's fair anymore, and therefore you just get to change your mind? This is a legal binding contract, guys. And, and here's the best part of it. You're an independent contractor. If you don't like this job, if the wages are so unfair, why are you still here? If it's that bad, why are you sitting around complaining and protesting? You are not an employee. You do not have rights. You don't. If you don't like it, quit pissing and moaning. Get out. Nobody's keeping you here. Nobody is forcing you to drive for Uber. Well, my family depends on this job. Well, I feel you, man. My family depends on my job with Uber, too. But let me tell you something. Never, never put all your eggs in one basket. Never. You do not come into a market like this. This is a, this is a very volatile market, guys. This is unstable as hell. Okay? Nobody knows what Uber is going to do. Maybe it's going to blow up and, and it's going to get better and everybody's going to make more money. Maybe it's going to collapse and there's not going to be an Uber tomorrow. Okay? From day to day, you don't know what to expect and you should never, you should never have put all of your eggs into this basket, guys. Whatever you were doing before Uber, I hope you didn't burn that bridge. Now, in my opinion, Uber is going to continue to be successful. I believe that Uber is, is going to continue to grow. I believe drivers will eventually start making more money. Guys, I'm still making three to $400 a week. It's not a lot, but it takes care of what needs taken care of. And I can tell you this, if Uber were to disappear tomorrow, would it hurt? Yeah, yeah, I'd take a hit. But you can bet that all my eggs are not sitting in the basket that is known as Uber. I will pick myself up and so will everybody else. Um, I really, I'm not trying to sound unsympathetic. I am, I am definitely sympathetic to the drivers that are out there that cannot feed their families, that cannot provide a Christmas for their families. I, I have been there, guys. I, I have. I, I've been homeless. I Believe me, I've probably been lower than most of you have. And I'm here, okay? It happens. Life goes on. It gets better. But guys, this is not Uber's fault. You cannot point the finger at Uber for cutting rates. As a, as a sole proprietor myself, as, as a man that has successfully run his own business for many years, um, it's my decision as the business owner what I am going to charge my customers. If I decide that I'm going to try some strategic marketing, which may involve temporarily lowering my rates to just unbelievable levels in order to attract more customers and gain their loyalty. That's the trick, guys, okay? A lot of you just don't see this. This is a guess. I could be wrong. But as a businessman, this is how I see it. You lower the rates to such a level that nobody can compete anymore. It hurts in the short term. Yeah, absolutely. But you cannot put a price on customer loyalty. Okay, Uber is a brand. Lyft is a brand. They have to sell their brand. They have to obtain customer loyalty to that brand. Once they have that customer loyalty, they can raise the rates a little bit, maybe a little bit here and there, and eventually get them to a place where everybody's happy. But for right now, guys, these are new companies. These are new brands, Uber, Lyft, Sidecar, and they're selling themselves. And this is, this is the startup cost. I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry if you're impacted negatively by this, um, but quite honestly, I, I haven't really felt it that much. Sure, rates have dropped, and sure, I've had to work maybe a little more, and I may have to put a little more effort into getting out there and being aggressive to get those customers. But guys, 
at the end of the day, it's a job, just like anything else. I do feel your pain. I've been in probably worse situations than you're in right now, guys. And I'm sorry if, if you know, you're having a hard time. But this is what it is. You are an independent contractor. Don't blame Uber. Okay? People are out there hating on Travis, the owner, you know, co-founder of Uber. Guys, he's doing what he believes is best for his company. And maybe that doesn't mean what's best for the drivers. As a man that has owned my own company, at the end of the day, you have to do what's in the best interest of your company to grow that company, to make it more profitable. So stop hating on Uber, guys. If it's that bad, go find other work. If you need to, go to a temp agency for a while. A lot of places can get you into a place that will pay you $11, $12 an hour temp to hire. It's a lot more work than sitting in your car driving around. But you can find other work out there, guys. And if Uber's that bad, instead of sitting around complaining, whining about it, just go find another job. That's it. That's my rant. Uber on.